Yo guys, what is going on? Uh, so I have a special gameplay for you guys again on my main account. I finally went out and got the rookie Lester, did the missions last night. And I already pitched him twice. This is actually the second game I pitched with him. Uh, the first game I pitched pretty well against the 1950 player. Um, this game though, Lester was really good and I wanted to show you guys uh, just how good this card can be. I don't think he is uh, a top five pitcher or anything, so I'll just get that out of the way. But this is against an 1800 rated player and Lester. <clears throat> well, I'll just you know let you guys see how the uh, end results shape out to be. But let's just say so far he's been pleasantly surprising. Uh, as we get a ground out, or no, we get a line drive over A Rod's head, and I want you to guys remember that hit. Remember that hit right there. This is the first inning. Uh, my opponent already has two hits. So it's not looking too good. Looks like this could be a rough game. And I went ahead and challenged Stanton here. I think I tried to change up away a few times, but I think I eventually just challenged him up and in to see if my opponent could hit it. This is a really risky pitch early on. Uh, he, he put a good drive on it, but not enough, and I got out of the inning there. So I just wanted to test my opponent there. If he got it through and bomb, he got it through and bomb. I had a confident in my abilities to hit. And the bottom of the first, we get a run from A-Rod. For some reason, he kept walking my created guy, and he wanted to pitch to A-Rod, but A-Rod gives us a 1-0 lead there. Later on in the first, two down. Jeff Francure gets a uh, bad hop past Robin out there at shortstop. So we get one on. There's still two out, still bottom of the first. And that's all we got. I stranded the runner. Um, but anyways, back to the second. Get a nice ground out by Victor Martinez. A-Rod makes a nice, easy play. Uh, so I was getting a lot of ground outs of Lester. I was getting a lot of jammed, a lot of jammed hits, a lot of weak flyouts, strikeouts, and I want you to guys remember that right there. That was a base runner in the second inning. So from here on out, I want you guys to remember that because Lester may or may not go on a nice little streak here. He gets the, he gets the. Uh, I think I was dropping out looking on a sinker in. The next guy, the pitcher, he tries to bunt with. He gets him out. So. Scoreless two innings so far with Lester. And in the bottom half, the Lester comes up, and he can hit a little bit too. Look at that, guys. So far, I've had a couple hits with him, which is really surprising. And we go ahead and test Kenny Lofton there, get on the board. In the third inning, or second inning, two to nothing. Ichiro comes up, smacks a double uh, to the right center wall there, and he almost laps Lester on the base path. That was really funny. Like, if I would have sent both of those home, Lester, or, uh, yeah, Lester may have got lapped by Ichiro. And then A-Rod comes up with the bases loaded and grounds out to second. So, stranded a lot of runners early on. Uh, but that's okay. We had the prime flashback, John Lester going. So, speaking a little bit more about John Lester. He has really good hits per nine, guys. K per nine is not the great. 68. Um, so, we get a backwards K right there and a fastball up and in. His fastball can go up to 95. It's going to be more like 93, 94, though. But it can go up to 95. His cutter, sinker... Has a little bit of movement, nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. Cutter is anywhere from 89 to 90. Sinker's 91, 92, maybe 93 sometimes. Change-up's anywhere from 85, 86. And he's got the big old sweeping curve too, uh, which isn't a bad pitch. He's got it all, guys. And against righties, I think he can make things tough against people. A lot of people aren't used to facing pitchers like that. Most people don't use the live series Lester. So... Yeah, most people just aren't used to facing lefties in general. As Fran Kier hits a bomb, I think that was 450. Uh, so we go up three to nothing here early in the game. Give Lester a nice cushion to start off the game. And the next batter, uh, Ichiro rips a single, but we can't score. Or hold my runner there. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think me using all these different flashback pitchers and just showing my opponents different pitchers that they're not used to seeing is making these pitchers effective online. So I think a lot of these uh, flashbacks that you don't see a lot of or they just came out, uh, they're nice little wrinkles to throw at your opponent, especially good hitters online, you know, CS or higher. So we got a 2-2 count here in the fourth. Lester throws a backward or a backdoor cutter to get him looking. So you can use that pitch every now and then every now and then with uh, Lester as well. I'll have a review for you guys on Lester too and give you guys some tips. He's a pretty nice pitcher, like I said, again, even on righties. Against lefties, he's really good too. But against righties, he has a lot of pitches to get them out. You know, the sinker, the cutter, the changeup. I mean, you can throw it anywhere on the plate too. You just, you just gotta be smart about it and pick up your opponent's bat speed and then adjust accordingly. Anyways, Lester still cruising. Hasn't gave up a base runner since the second. Hasn't gave up a hit since the first inning. 
and I was utilizing that cutter sinker combo in on the righties a lot there we get a nice easy uh, broken bat pop out to the pitcher there and again I start off the next batter I think this is Robin Young again with a cutter in on the hands gets him to back off we'll go ahead and show you guys this entire AB we go back to a cutter away or no I was a curveball away my bad a little out in front there go ahead and decide to go back with a uh, another sweeping curve we're gonna try to set up the fastball here we're gonna throw it from the same arm slot high and away not exactly where I wanted but it still fooled my opponent he was super late on the pitch and then he lets his pitcher bat and he just blows a fastball by me try to drag bunt there so so far a really good start for Lester again he hasn't allowed a base runner since the fifth and that's not a lot of hit since the first as we get a line out there foul territory jam my opponent a little bit next batter it's like a sinker middle in and gets a nice grounder to a rod lots of ground balls if you guys utilize that sinker in on the hands and then we get out of the six so Lester at this point is cruising I think at one point he retired 20 like 22 or 23 in a row we get a dribbler in front of the catcher for another quick out still rolling in the seventh only at 70 something pitches we got Hanley at first base and he makes a really nice play that speed coming into effect so another foul out and we get through the seventh there we fast forward to the bottom of the seventh got Beltray up now my opponent should have walked Beltray right here because we had Lester on deck and he didn't have his pitch count very high and my plan was to pitch Lester as deep as I could in the game and Beltray makes him pay with a hanging slider over the scoreboard at the Red Rocks so we go up five to nothing, pretty comfortable lead at this point. I'm just trying to get the complete game shut out with Lester, seeing if he can just keep retiring these batters. We get another broken bat with that cutter in on the hands, throw out the runner, simple out. Yeah, that cutter sinker combo worked really well in the two games I used Lester. Uh, the changeup's not too bad either. You just have to keep it down. You really can't throw it anywhere else. It's too, it's too hard to throw you know higher in the zone or just in the way. You really want to throw the changeup outside the zone at all times. Pretty easy for opponents to hit. Here we go with a front door sinker called strike. We had a 1 1 count. Decided to go back to the high fastballs. Doing a lot of high fastballs and sweeping curves, mixing it up. You know, showing my opponent the same arm slot, but showing them two different pitches from that arm slot. Here we go with the sinker. I know this is a cutter away. Got him looking again. That cutter is pretty dirty. So I got him looking a couple times with that cutter away on the righties. Bust him in with a sinker, get another strikeout, and Lester is cruising. Started the ninth inning. He hasn't allowed a hit since the first. We throw a fastball in on the hands. We jam him. Beltre makes a nice play. Foul territory. So we have two more outs to get. He's got his created player, Babe Ruth, up. Um, at this point, my opponent was getting really impatient, so I started throwing a lot of low changeups, and he was swinging super early. But we'll take those outs for days. Little dribble to my catcher, so we got one more out to go against Chris Bryant. And at this point, it's not nothing. The game is over. But I, I do want to bring you guys this gameplay and show you uh, how well Lester pitched for me so far. And again, this is against a, I think this guy was 1790 or 1800. He wasn't a bad player, but he got really impatient. And I exploited the impatience of my opponent, especially later on in the game. Early in the game, he wasn't too bad, but later on, he became really impatient. So we're just doing a lot of change up slow to see if we can get him to swing and miss, see if he'll chase. <laughs> nothing doing. So we go with a cutter, middle in. Again, this was a really effective pitch all game. We get him swinging. He gets jammed. Edmonds comes in from right field to make the easy play. And that's going to do it for the gameplay, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Cardinal Bird 5 signing out. Peace.